This Shabbat, the Jewish nation falls from the great, great grandeur of Mount Sinai, of God personally revealing himself to the Jewish people, to the terrible, horrific downfall of the golden calf. At that time, God is so upset, and Moshe is so upset that he breaks the luchot, he breaks the tablets, and Hashem is determined to destroy the Jewish nation. And he promises Moshe reconciliation. I'll give you a different nation, I'll give you a different people, I'll give you an alternative nation that will be able to replace the Jewish people who have sinned and gone astray. And Moshe says and refuses that without the Jewish people, I'm worthless. If the Jewish people are destroyed, wipe me out from your book. I want no part of the Torah. And then Moshe be six Hashem, and he prays and prays, even though the Jewish people had sinned. And he says in the climax prayer, remember Hashem. Remember what you promised to your servant. Remember what you promised to Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. And you promised them that their descendants will be as great as the stars of the heaven. That you give to their descendants this land and the promised land. And therefore, in the merit of the forefathers, please don't destroy the Jewish people. Please have compassion upon your nation. And there the Torah says, once Moshe re evoked the merit of the forefathers and the promise to the forefathers, God had regret upon the evil that he had in mind to do to the people. Sometimes when the Jewish people are stuck, they always have one, one special secret weapon. And that's called the Schut Avot, where are buried in Hebron, the merit of our forefathers. And when we re and we awaken that merit, Hashem automatically is filled with mercy and compassion, no matter how bad our sins are, and brings us forgiveness for our sins and our mistakes. We should be privileged to take all the broken tablets from the Shabbat and make the nation whole once again and bring the ultimate tshuva me'ava, tshuva from love, Shabbat Shalom.